Hello all, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, we will see how to represent a signal in terms of unit step function and ramp function. As you can see, the x of t which we have taken here is uh, very weird and it's horrible enough uh, to like if you want to analyze a signal, it is very like difficult. So, in this video, we will see how to represent the signal in terms of ramp and unit step function. So, as you can see here, our signal starts at t is equal to minus 2. So, <coughs> first I will show you, uh, we can use the ramp function. What is ramp function? R of t is equal to t. This is the definition for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 elsewhere. Okay, and same case with unit step function. It is one for t greater than zero and zero elsewhere. For uh, zero, some people say it is like undefined, so let's leave it. Or we can, for our purposes, we can assume that. The one for t greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So coming to this figure, we'll be making use of these functions according to our need. So what it does, it will start at t is equal to minus two and it will continue to exist go in this fashion. Because it is nothing but t right time shifted RAM function. So it will go in this fashion. But we need our signal to bend in this way towards zero. So what we do, we add another, uh, subtract another ramp function, but with twice the slope as this one. So that we can write in this fashion. Two times R of t plus one. So what this uh, term means is, this is uh, t is equal to minus 1, so at t is equal to minus 1, we have a, uh, this way, this is not approximate, uh, not accurate, approximate, we can draw in this fashion, so it will go till here. So this minus this at every point will give us the signal. Suppose say at, uh, at this instance this will cover only point 1 and this covers minus point 2. So net will be minus point 1. So it will be here. So the signal will start in this fashion. Okay, so that's the logic behind this. So this is t plus 1. So now we have a signal. We had a ramp function which was going in this fashion, but we added and we subtracted another ramp with twice the slope at t is equal to minus 1. So our signal we are here now. We are here and uh, it is actually go till here. Unless it will go in this fashion and unless we make changes at t is equal to 1 which we will be doing now. Okay. So what we do, we don't want our signal to go in this fashion. So what we do? We add another ramp fly. Okay. At t is equal. So now we have added a ramp at t is equal to one. So this is nothing but in this fashion. Okay. The scope is not correct in this fashion. As you can see, our 
r of t plus 2 minus 2 r of t plus 1 is traveling in this direction. So we don't want it to go in this direction but to go in this direction. So what we have done is we have added ramp at t is equal to 1. Say at uh, this time since okay, 1.2 or something it will travel 0.2. At the same time this will travel minus 1.2. So minus 1.2, this is minus 1.2, and this is plus 0.2. This is minus 1. So our signal is here now. Same thing. At some time since it will cover 0.5, that is this uh, ramp, and this signal will cover minus 1.5. So we add both. We get minus 1.4 plus 1 is minus 1 of the right. So we are here, we are in the right path now. So we are traveling here. If we do, don't do anything at t is equal to 3, our signal will flow in this direction. Okay, so what we do, we add a unit step function. To minus uh, twice the magnitude so you have t minus 3 you can see the signal has magnitude of minus 1 so we add u of t 2 times u of t minus 3 so our unit step function will start at t is equal to 3 so it is nothing but so we are effectively adding this signal here this is 2 times u of t minus 3. So this minus this will give us this signal. Okay. So what is confusing for some? Yeah, sorry. So this 2 times u of t minus 3. So now the signal will traverse in this way and it will go in this fashion up to now uh, this x of t is r of t plus 2 minus 2 times r of t plus 1 plus r of t minus 1 plus uh, twice u of t minus 3 is the signal the signal but we don't want our signal to go in this fashion but to go here so what we do, we subtract at another layer unit set at t is equal to 4. So this is magnitude 1, we we'll subtract another unit set here. Okay, so we we'll get this signal. So that's how you represent any signal in terms of unit set function and ramp function. Okay, so finally I will tell you how to trace this. This is R, R of t plus 2. We have subtracted another ramp at t is equal to minus 1 with uh, twice the slope. So our signal is going in this fashion. It has crossed t is equal to 0 and it is going in the negative axis. So it will continue to go. It will not do anything at t is equal to 1. So we have added R of T minus 1 so that it will follow this path and it will follow this path unless and until we do something at T is equal to 3. So we have added 2 times U of T minus 3 because we want our signal to go we have to follow this path. So we are here now and uh, we will continue to go here unless we do something at T is equal to 4. So we are subtracted at t is equal to 4. It will eventually end here. Okay. So this is the representation of this complex signal. I think um, it will be clear when to solve the more examples. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.